fear of coronavirus is spreading as quickly as the virus itself. And while fewer children have come down with the virus, they are very much tuned in to the stress and fear around them. Kids will model what the parents give them. So if the parents are getting anxious and anxiety is taking over, the kids are going to do that. Jonathan Bickberg is the mental health supervisor of the Cedar sinai Share and Care program. The program helps children suffering trauma and stress. Vickberg says it's important to talk to your kids about the virus in an age-appropriate fashion. For kids, when you're talking about washing your hands, maybe you sing happy birthday as you're washing your hands with them. For older kids, if they want to know more information, maybe you go on to the CDC website together and look at that. But don't stick there. It's really important after you give this information, you get back to some normalcy. Get it! <laughs> At the Blitz family home in Los Angeles, like many other homes, extracurricular activities and large play dates are canceled. But the sisters are lucky. They have each other and the dog to play with. They are well aware of the virus and are up on all the new cleanliness rules. Wash your hands with soap and water. And um, Purell and um <laughs> don't touch your eyes, eyes nose, nose, mouth, mouth, or ears. The kids are relaxed and calm. Their parents have included them in the family conversation. I think that it's important for the kids to see that we don't always know exactly how to respond and that we need to think about it and discuss it and uh, make intelligent decisions. And that's key, says Vickberg, who urges that families take advantage of the sudden enforced togetherness. Humor is really helpful. So having dinner together, talking about something else besides all those things that are scary can be really helpful. We have an opportunity to model to our kids that, okay, this is different, but this is okay. This is our plan. 